Hello everyone and welcome to the Genshin Weekly Recap Show. I'm your host Ven and I'm here to bring the latest and greatest in Genshin Impact news, ranging from event news to character and banner announcements. So, let's get into the show. First, let's talk about the only event that is ending, and that is the Thunder Sojourn event. At the time of recording this video, you most likely only have a few hours to finish the gameplay aspect of this event, as it is ending on August 9th, which is today for Asia accounts. You can check the exact time for your server in the event menu in-game. If you have done the event and just haven't bought items, then you have plenty of time as the shop stays open until August 16th. From the Thunder Sojourn event, you can get a bunch of basic resources like Talent Scrolls and Hero's Wit and more of the sort. Event gameplay ends on the 9th of August, whilst the shop ends on the 16th of August. The Lost Riches event began on August 6th, and the big draw-in for this event is the acquisition of a new floating Seelie Companion, similar to the previous Seelie Companion and the Oceanid. The event is extremely simple, go to the market location, walk around for a while digging holes, get coins, get Primo gems, and buy items. I personally am covering this event and everything to do with it, link to the first video explaining everything in detail will be down in the description. Lost Riches start on August 6th and ends on August 16th. The second last bit of event news comes in the form of a web event. On Twitter, Paimon let us know about the Summer Night Mementos, which focuses around the new 5-star character coming soon, Yoimiya. For this event, all you have to do is take a few photos, share them, and you get Primo Gems. You can get a total of 40 Primos with a handful of Yoimiya Ascension material as well. Summer Night Mementos started on August 5th and ends on August 11th. Link will be down in the description. We also have news on the event that follows the Lost Riches event. The Theatre Mechanicus is making a reappearance after its debut during the Xiao Lantern Festival. If you have ever played Blood's Tower Defense or the Orcs Must Die series, then you'll be a pro at this as it's pretty much that. Waves of monsters come from portals and you have to put up turrets to defend your own portal. I'll be releasing guide videos on this event so stay tuned for those. The Theatre Mechanicus arrives on August 12th and leaves August 28th. The second last event coming in Phase 2 of 2.0 is the Phantom Flow event. Now I'm going to be 100% real with you all, the name rings a bell but I have no clue what the event is actually about. I can take a stab in the dark and just say that it's about killing some enemies, seeing as the little image used to describe it is of a mechanism, so I'm just going to assume that, but nevertheless I'll be covering it and putting out guides if necessary for any of those who are struggling when this event arrives on August 20th. And the final event that we'll be seeing of 2.0 will be the Ley Line Overflow. In this event, all that happens is the Ley Lines, both gold and blue, drop two times the items, three times a day, then it goes back to the normal rates. We've had this event plenty of times, so don't expect any video dedicated to this event. The Ley Line Overflow goes live on August 23rd. Moving on to character and weapon banners here. First bit of character news is the sad departure of the Ayaka banner. Her banner will be leaving on August 10th, and with her go her three four stars, Yen Fei, Chong Yun, and Ning Wang. And along with the Ayaka banner ending, so is the weapon banner. Both Ayaka and the weapon banner end on August 10th. The bright side of losing Ayaka is that we are receiving a brand new 5 star character, Yoi Mia, who is a pyro bow user much like our precious Amber but maybe just a bit better. Yoi Mia is a pyro bow user who will be accompanied by 3 4 stars, the new character Sayu who is an Animo Claymore healer, Diona the Cryo Bow healer, and Jin Yen the Pyro Claymore support DPS. If you want to check out Yoi Mia and see what she's about, I have a first impressions video out where I go over all her abilities, talents, and constellations, link will be down in the description. With a new 5 star character comes a new 5 star weapon, and in this case it is a bow to go along with Yoi Mia who is a bow user. The Thundering Pulse is an extremely strong bow as it comes with crit damage and its ability boosts normal attack damage so it's pretty much made for Yoimiya's primary playstyle. These two banners will begin on August 10th and proceed for 3 weeks. And there you have it guys, that's all that happened this week in Genshin Impact. We had a bunch of news as we are at the halfway point of patch 2.0 and the change of a banner so a bunch of stuff is happening. I'm Ven and I've been your news reporter in this Genshin Weekly Recap. I'll see you in the next one, have a wonderful day and peace out.